Hey everybody, what's up? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy with another edition of The Mikey Show. And um, today, I am we're, we're listening to the audio analog Donizetti, uh, and um, we're listening to the um, NAT Audio Symmetric preamp. We're streaming with the Playback Design Streamer, and we're listening to the audio analog DAC up top, the AA DAC. Um, which is the new piece that I've been telling you guys about. It's a $5,000 DAC. Um, this is a $14,000 amp. And we are listening to the big Fisher and Fishers, which this is the last night we get to listen to them. You guys, they're gone. They get, they're sold and they're out of here. And, um, I've got the big dogs coming after this. I've ordered the, uh, top of the line Fisher and Fishers. Fisher and Fisher has been such a good brand that I've got no problems um, dropping the coin on their top of the line, which is on the way. Anyway, so I wanted to do a little test for you guys because they're gone. These things are on their way. Um, I'll put some others in. But for now, what I wanted to show you is just do a quick test between this AA DAC with and without the preamp. This is an $8,000 preamp. I want you to hear the difference. Again, I'm going to play Goose Slow Ready. Okay, so I don't care what you say. That's that's a killer tune, man. Um, that's that's slow slow ready. That's grooving tune. Anyways, um, now I'm gonna take this preamp out of here, and I'm just gonna play the double A DAC up here, direct to the Donizetti, straight out to the speakers with the streamer as the source. So hold on. Okay, so here we go um, now with. Uh, out the preamp, we're going direct from the AA DAC. You can see if I zoom in, let's see, you can see all those lights. So you can see that the volume is now activated on the DAC itself. And um, we've got volume matched now. And, uh, and I'm just gonna play this. And again, it is the Playback Design Streamer feeding the DAC via AES. Okay, so we're at 1644 playing back uh, through this DAC decoding, coming straight down with those XLRs to the Donizetti power amplifier straight out to uh, the Fisher & Fisher 770s. Um, again, this is now a $5,000 DAC. Um, instead of we're removing an $8,000 preamp, and let's see if we lost $8,000 worth of Sonic, if we gained any Sonic, or where we are. And remember, this is only possible if you're just doing digital. If you have vinyl, you must use a preamp regardless. So let's take a listen, shall we?
Okay, so here is the part where you ask yourself, um, what interest do I have in showing you that a preamp is not necessary to have better sound? In the case of a DAC that has a well-designed analog output section with a very high quality volume control, like I'm showing you right now and you're listening to, I'm going to lose money, right? I mean, by me showing you this stuff, I'm basically talking you out of buying an $8,000 preamp to go with your $5,000 AA DAC. Now, granted, if you have vinyl, you need the preamp. We're not, I mean, that's no question. Then get this thing because it's a kick-ass preamp. But if you're all digital, this is my point. When you go to other dealers, they're going to tell you, no, man, you need a damn preamp. You need to have it in there regardless. Even if you don't have vinyl, you're going to need the preamp to make it sound good. Well, why don't you tell me if it makes it sound any better? Or did it sound more thick and full-bodied and fuzzy in the mids with the preamp in? You know, and of course, you have a lesser DAC and you have a better quality preamp than this, something higher up. Yeah, you can monkey around. Maybe DACs do make some, maybe some preamps do make some DACs sound better. But I'm here, and this is what I provide you as a value added service, is I find the DACs that have the kick ass volume controls that don't need preamps, and then I sell you that, which is in the case of the AA DAC. It's exactly what we're experiencing right now. No preamp needed unless you have vinyl. So I just wanted to point that out and ask yourself, who's Mikey really committed to? I'm talking myself out of more money. You understand that, right? Um, so why would I talk myself out of more money? Guess who I'm committed to, okay? I'm committed to giving a value to the end user because you guys get raped left and right in this industry. So anyways, yeah, I'm Mother Teresa, whatever. Idiots that don't understand my my role want to say, what is Mikey, Mother Teresa? Well, <laughs> whatever whatever you want to call it. I'm the best there is, there ever was, and there ever will be. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right, back to the music. In the corner of the tell you what you guys i love 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 finding products like this for y'all i really really it thrills me i mean you have no idea how freaking good that sounds right now i mean these speakers are freaking pumping i mean it's 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 ridic we've got a fourteen thousand dollar amp a five thousand dollar dac yeah, the speakers are 40 grand, but still, I mean, we are powering 40, we're, we're, we're slaying $40,000 floor standards. Okay, so let me try because now you guys got me going. 
Now I'm going to have to try some other music just to see since I can't monetize this video anyways. Play around a little bit.
Bit by a dog with a rabbit tooth. (laughs) Someone said that to me one time and I can't forget it ever again. Bit by a dog with a... It's supposed to be rabid, R-A-B-I-D. But if you hear somebody say R-A-B-B-I-T, rabbit tooth, then you think of a dog with like a little rabbit tooth. (laughs) Biting you on the ankle. Um, So now I hear it. Oh, man, Uh, there's a couple others, too, and I'll ruin those for you some other day. Uh, Let's see. Let me try some. This one's for you guys. Bugs Bunny. Elmer Fudd. I actually really love this. So cool. Turn it up a little. Greeny, you got you and your you and your buddy got me hooked. These are Greeny speakers, by the way. Just testing them out on a little symphonic. God, dude, my nipples are like rockets right now. (laughs) I know that wasn't a good visual, but holy crap, was that intense. Oh my God, we got to do it again, you guys. I'm going to do it at full volume. What was that? I mean, what? Oh my god. 
God. That 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 is ah uh, I mean I don't know how to explain it. You you just heard it. It's like I don't know what it's like. Like God's army has just like you just came upon God's army. And like the horse, the white horse is rearing up with like a the white knight on top of it with a freaking huge sword that's glinting in the sunlight. And it's like, ah, oh, hide, run and hide. That is some run and hide shit. Is it not? My God. Talk about the strength of that. Okay. So back in the day, that was clearly heavy metal right there. That's crazy. That, that, uh, let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. That was so cool. Oh man, this is John Greeny put me up to this. That this I saved this Greeny when you were here. And uh and 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 I remember this part and 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 that's just uh I see why you guys uh fell in love with symphonic music and why you guys play in the symphony for stuff like that, man. It's Whew, it's like just all my my clothes were just torn off and I'm standing naked before God's army. That's what it just feels like. It's like whew, all my clothes just went off. I'm standing there trembling naked. You know, I mean, holy. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> and you need a hell of an audio system to do that. Um. Anyways. Okay, man, I got to go. See you.